Hey guys, this is Not Sense, and today I wanted to go over the process of what I actually do to make security footage and use for uh, roleplay in Grand Theft Auto. I mentioned this before in my behind the scenes video, where I just went behind the scenes and I showed you guys how I edit things and stuff like that. Um, but this is sort of a dedicated video. I wanted to make a dedicated video with a lot more information about it where I go in detail. So before I go in game and actually show you guys how to create a uh, security footage, I'm just going to quickly explain the steps in which I'm going to take to do this. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in game and record myself actually doing what I want to be on the security footage. So for example, I'm going to be breaking into a car for this episode, just as an example. The second step that I'm going to do is actually exit and then go into Rockstar Editor and make the footage that I took of myself in game look like a security camera. And the third step would be to take the footage that I made from a replay editor and take it into my video editing software to make it more look like a security camera by adding things like time codes and stuff like that. So the first thing that you need to do in order to make a security footage is to actually go to a server where you can uh, make the security footage. For me, I have a, a local host server right here, which essentially means that it's hosted on my computer and no one else can join it. But I've done it on public servers before and I've done it on servers that were just basically empty. But you just need somewhere that has vMenu installed to be able to record and I'll explain that in a few minutes here. But just go ahead and find a server that you can load into. Okay, so I'm actually in the game now, and I'm at a house where I want to go ahead and record my security footage. And as you can see, the two cars are here. And like I mentioned earlier, I'm just going to steal a car for the example of the security footage. So basically how this works is I'm going to go ahead and record the security footage using Rockstar Editor. So opening up vMenu, and this is why I mentioned that the server should have vMenu earlier. You can click on recording options and then click on start recording. And what that'll do is it'll record using Rockstar Editor. And I'll show you how to edit this recording in a few minutes. But basically what I'm gonna do here is just start recording, steal the car, and then leave. Essentially what I want the security footage to show. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, and so that's it. And now to stop your recording, go back in the V menu, click on recording options, and then click on stop recording. And there you go. So now you have your clip that you wanted to have and your security footage successfully recorded. So now the next thing we're going to do is exit out of the game, go into the replay editor, and then edit this clip that we just recorded. So here I am on the 5M menu. For those of you who don't know, how to access the replay editor, you can just hit replay editor right here and then click on go. And this will open up the Rockstar editor and it'll take a moment to load. So once you're here, you can see it says create new project, load project, director mode, etc. Uh, what you're going to want to do is click on create new project and then hit yes. And next, what you're going to want to do is add a clip. And you can see at the top here, it's the clip that I just recorded in the game where I stole the car. I'm going to click on that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit enter to edit and that'll load the clip again and it'll take a few moments to load here. So once you're inside here, um, you can see all the effects that you can add. You can change the camera, the depth of field, um, audio, speed, position, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to change the camera from it looking at our character to the free camera. And with the free camera, what we can do is we can go down here and hit edit camera and we can move the camera anywhere around our character. There is a certain uh, diameter that you can't escape. Like for example, I can't go all the way over here because you can see it blocks me. Um, but essentially where we're gonna place this camera is just in a place that makes sense for a camera to be. Uh, you can see already here that there's cameras already added. Um, however, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this camera right here just so that way it makes sense and you can see that it uh, is showing both of the cars and things like that. Again, this is entirely up to you um, what you do with your security camera. You can change it any way you want, but this is just an example of how I would make um, a security footage. So I'm just going to place it right here for now. Um, once I place it right here and I'm done moving the camera, I can hit escape. And as you can see here, uh, this brings me back to the menu. So here's a tip for security footage. Um, there's a filter that you can use inside of this called IL-7. 
that makes the game look more CCTV-ish, and I'll show you what that means. So hitting escape, I can go back, and then I can go to the effects tab here, and then where it says filter, go to aisle seven. And you can see here that it's totally grayed out. It looks like one of those old CCTV cameras, um, but you can barely see anything. So what you're gonna wanna do is go to filter intensity, and I change it down personally to 25. So once we have the filter on, this is pretty much what it'll look like. Um, you can move around and you can see here, um, he drives away right here and then the camera got out of range. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys next how to actually change camera position. So let's say that I'm here and I wanna be uh, over there for the next camera position. I'll show you how to do that. So move to the point when you wanna change your camera positions and I'll do it right before he's about to break the window and then hit M as in Mary. What that'll do is that'll start a new position down here, which is essentially like a second camera uh, where you can go to cameras again, then free camera, and then edit the camera, and then you can move it anywhere you want. I'm gonna move it to this light post, just as an example, uh, to where you can see him breaking in the window. So this position kind of sets where the camera will be changed at. So you can see anything before this uh, position is the first camera we made, and then anything after is the second. So just to quickly play it, I'll show you what it looks like. You can see it changed camera right there. Uh, so that's what I mean by actually setting positions and changing cameras. Okay, so now that I'm satisfied with the security footage, what I'm gonna do is show you how to record it. Now, I'm currently using my recording software to record this video, um, but normally I would just have it open and record the game just for the security footage, uh, which is what you need to do in order to, to get this off to somebody as a video. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start this all the way at the beginning. I'm gonna hit H as in Hector to get rid of the HUD. I'm gonna take my cursor and I'm gonna move it down here in the corner just so that way uh, no one can see it. And then in order to play the video, I'm gonna hit spacebar. And then I'm just gonna let it play out for you guys. And that's essentially it. Um, so now that you have your security footage recorded in Rockstar Editor and you actually made it look like a security footage by moving the camera around and adding the filter and things like that. Um, the final thing that I do personally is I go into my editing software, which is Premiere Pro. Now, don't get me wrong. Um, you can you can just take that recording and you can send it off to somebody and role play it and it'll still be some good security footage. But me personally, I just like to add a few extra things inside my editing software just to make it really sort of stand out and pop out and look like a real CCTV footage with time codes and stuff like that. So I'm just going to move over to my editing software, which is Premiere Pro. Again, you can probably use any editing software that's free if you don't have Adobe um, and do something similar. Just use your imagination, but I'll see you over in Premiere Pro. Okay, so now we're in Premiere Pro. And this is the footage that I just recorded of me stealing the car. The same one that I showed you earlier. Um, so the first thing that I'm going to do with this is I'm going to go ahead and trim the video up just a little bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this razor tool here and kind of start off where he starts off and then move over. And at the very end, you can see the, uh, the camera kind of cuts away because I go out of range. And I'm just going to cut that part out. So I'm going to take the razor tool, snip, snip, and then hit delete. And that takes care of that. So now we just have the security footage that we want the officers to see or whoever you're showing it to see. So the next thing I'm going to do is add a template on top of this video here. And what I mean by that is this is the template. This is just a normal PNG image. And you can see the two black boxes here. The one at the top right I use for the camera, and the one at the bottom I use for the time code, and I'll show you both of those here in a minute. And if you do want to use this template, you can make your own, obviously, but if you want to use this one specifically, um, I'll leave it inside of my Discord, um, so that way you can go ahead and download it from there. But I'm just going to take this template and drag it on top here, and then I'm just going to stretch the image out all the way over here. 
So you can see now that there's this black box here, which I use for time code, and then this top box over here, which I use to name the camera. So uh, let's put the time code in first. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to the top right where it says effects and type in time code. And I'm going to drag this time code onto the PNG image here. And as you can see, it actually brings up a time code. And we need to edit this time code a little bit just so that way um, it kind of looks more realistic. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the camera name up here. Um, so that way it'll, whenever it changes cameras, it'll say a different camera name. And how I'm going to do that is click on this text tool down here at the bottom left, and then just type on screen, uh, cam for camera. And then I'm just going to name it, uh, zero one, just as an example. And then, um, just stretch that all the way out here, uh, towards the end of the video. And then I'm going to go ahead and, uh, move this. So I'm going to click on position and then I'm just going to move this entire thing up here. And I actually need it to be a little bit smaller. So I'm going to make it a little bit smaller with scale. Um, again, if I'm going too fast, I'm sorry, I've done this like a million times, but I do encourage you to go into your own editing software and just experiment with it. Um, but I named the camera uh, camera zero one uh, because this is the first camera and I'm actually going to change this number here. So whenever the camera changes, what I'll do is I'll move the position uh, on Premiere Pro till that camera changes. You see where it changed, where I set the other uh, position inside of Rockstar Editor. And right when it changed, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the snipping tool. I'm going to cut it right there. And then for the uh, camera number one at the top left, I'll just change it to camera two, for example. So the last thing I'm going to do is add effects onto it. Uh, but I'm just going to skip over me doing that really quick because it's not important for this tutorial. Okay, and so now that I have the effects, I'm just going to quickly play the video for you guys. And that's it for this tutorial, guys. Um, this is how I make security footage personally, but obviously you guys can be creative and just do whatever you want with this. I just kind of wanted to show you how I did it. Um, if you did like this video, please do me a favor and leave a like on YouTube because this does help with the video. Allow It, it allows it to reach more people on YouTube. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to put them either in the comment section below or go to my Discord where I have a, a dedicated questions channel. And you can also grab the uh, template that I use whenever you're there. That's all I have for you guys. Thank you for watching.